Hey, how's it going? I'm still Jeremy and I'm biking down a road in Osaka that I don't really know that well, but I'm curious about. And it's morning. It's about 9.30 in the morning and there's actually more people out than I thought there would be. And they're in my way. I'm trying to do a video. Don't you people understand? Go home. Anyway, so yeah, I don't know where this road goes. It's sort of uh, in the... What area is it in? Higashi Nari Ward. So I don't quite know what's here. What I think I do know is that I would like to find. I mean, it's one of those mornings where I'm in everybody's way. I almost had a had a collision earlier on somebody else, some lady on a bicycle, and it would have been all my fault. Shooting out of intersections. In my inimitable way. I hear the locusts. I don't know the locusts, the uh, cicadas. Warning, noisy sounds of cicadas for the next two or three minutes. I wonder if that means there's a park around here. Anyway, the, the goal for today is the same goal as always. To talk over the cicadas. No, it's to find some bubble water. I don't have any. I have a bunch of, uh, oh, never mind. Look at this, listen to this, and look at these birds. Ever since I, ever, when I moved to Japan, I was 30 years old, I think. And the whole time that I've been here, even when I was 30, I always kind of, um, I want to see what, what's on the other side of this park. I've always kind of admired the old men who, every morning they come to a park like this and they just sit, sit and talk and look at the birds and drink tea or whatever. So yeah, I can see that. <laughs> a little bit jealous. I have to get out and work and do stuff. But I thought, yeah, I can't wait for that. Let me be an old man. That sounds good. Let's see what's on the other side of this park. So far, nothing. Most of it, most of the park is taken up by a, a baseball field, as usual. Okay, here we go. Blood sugars lately have not been good. Since the last video, I think everything's been up in the high 100s or low 200s. Just one of those things. Here you go. It's hard to just pull my bicycle up along. Three guys sitting on a wall and park and like record them for several seconds. Try to be somewhat discreet. Oh, let's go look at this. Seven-day average for my blood sugars. Hold on. What might this be? Two kids sitting on the world. Something about November 1972, Osaka. Lions Club. I don't know what the Lions Club is in any country. But apparently, whatever it is, it's here, too. Wow. I don't know if you can hear me over the, over the, the cicadas. This says, Hira something. Hirawa? That's pretty simple Japanese. I should know what that means. Hiwa, Hirawa? Hi, he, he, heiwa, heiwa. Maybe it's Hewa, which means peace. This is embarrassing. Don't get me started about ranting about my Japanese ability. It's awful. Anyway, so, um, yeah, the seven day average for my blood sugars um, as of this video is 163. So it's getting a little bit worse each day. Hopefully today will be better. My grand plan for you know, I'll be out biking every day doing these videos. I'm doing 30 videos in 30 days. This is day, I don't know, eight or nine or something of that. 
I'll be uh, biking every day. That'll, you know, that's regular exercise. Just getting around and moving. That'll help my blood sugar. Was my thinking. Oh, bubble water, bubble water for a hundred yen. The most exciting part of my day is always buying bubble water. And here we go. What? What? What's this? They gave me the wrong water. That's that. Did I hit the wrong button? Wow, oh, check the videotape. All right. I'm gonna buy one more and see if it's me. I could just check the videotape, but no. One more. Let me see, was it me or was it the button? Okay, document this. I'm pressing the red Wilkinson bubble water. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ain't that a. On the plus side, I can get rid of all these other bottles. Well, I am shocked and chagrined. I've never seen any mistake about anything ever happen in Japan. It's still cold and delicious. Oh, that's weird. That's, that's upsetting. Wow, that really shatters my, shatters my innocence, my illusion of a safe world. Oh my God, you press a bubble water and a regular water comes out? <sighs> dark, dark times, dark times we live in. I can feel blood sugar have, not having been good recently. I kind of feel it in my throat. Look at this little shrine. You know, I love these little shrines. Tiny little shrine. There's the shrine symbol. This is like a Shinto thing. No, it isn't. It's Buddhist. I'm so dumb. So there's a candle and incense to be burned, little flower. Someone maintains this. So I guess that little slot is for donations. Always like that. One of my friends who knows me well was watching one of my videos recently when I was biking around uh, Nakanoshima. And she said, was your blood sugar high when you did this video? <laughs> I said, yeah, it was. It was like 250, why? She said, yeah, I can tell. I said, yeah, you can tell. She said, yeah, you're complaining. I said, but I'm always complaining and whining and criticizing. She goes, nah, it's the way you're doing it. You have this kind of like, yeah, just speaking of an old man, old man kind of whininess. Like, rah, 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 rah. There's no crossing here. There's no uh, light for pedestrian crossing. So sometimes the cars will just stop and let you go. <laughs> was that an interesting fact? But she was right, and somehow you can tell. I don't think my blood sugar is too high now. It's right after breakfast. It was, it was not good. It was 180 before breakfast, but it's probably about 230 now. I like these little neighborhoods, though. These markings on the road, by the way, we're talking about markings. That, of course, means there's a road that way, and it stops here. The opposite here, boom, and the opposite here, boom. Oh, uh, anyway, so uh, 163 is the average now. Um, this exercise that I've been getting for these biking videos, let's go down this little alley. It's not super exercise. This is pretty, pretty low level exercise. It is getting me out and moving around. But if you think I'm being sort of slurry and whiny, it's probably because of the blood sugar. So in yesterday's video, I was trying to explain some of the, the markings on the street, the paint on the street for drivers and stuff. The reason is because uh, somebody commented on one of my videos about that, but she also commented, I forgot about the second half of her comment, Laura also said, what about the parking, the amazing parking abilities of people in Japan? 
I think she means things like this. They park their cars in these tiny little spaces. Space is just at a premium in Japan. And for any reason, including parking. So parking is very expensive. You can rent a space. Let's see if we can find a parking rental space. I don't see one here, but they have like a, it's worth tearing down a, a house and building a parking lot that has like room for three cars in it. Like you get so much money out of that because people pay so much to have a reserved space, even in a small place like that. It's just, uh, space is at a premium. So part of the driving skills here is, par is parking in a very, very tight space. And these are just sort of garages. So you come here and you back in, but I mean, I've seen it. I've seen people park between two posts and I think, well, how do they do that without some kind of sideways mechanism on the tires? It's amazing. And it's just, there's no trick to it. It's just patience. Just patience, like they don't mind stopping in the road. Everybody's cool with that. Everybody understands. You have to stop in the road sometimes. So somebody will stop in front of you and they'll make like a 128 point turn to, to line themselves up to back in somewhere. And everybody's just, that's, that's the rhythm of the road here. So nobody's upset by it. I wouldn't have the patience for it as an American driver. I would see, that's where I'm supposed to park? Nah, I'll just park on the street or park, you know, park somewhere that irritates everybody. Here we go, look at this. I mean, that's not unbelievable, it's just parallel parking, but that's not the worst case I've seen. But tiny little cars in tiny little, that's why, that's why most of the cars here are actually pretty small. Rarely do you see like a big SUV or whatever. Hmm. All right, as soon as we see something amazing, we can celebrate. No cicadas here. Got real quiet, didn't it? So I'll work on my blood sugars. I hope tomorrow's will be better. Sometimes it's just one of those things. And this, I think, is one of those times. Some days, diabetes is kind of like one step forward and one step back. And every now and then, it'll be two steps forward, one step back. Then it'll be two steps back and one step forward. It's very humbling, as we always say. Okay, up here, this shop. If I'm not mistaken, the shop with the red awning is a hanko shop. And a hanko is a, it's like a, it translates as name stamp. Yeah, see that thing in the, well, I don't know if you can see it in the window. With all the little red, uh, complicated kind of markings and stuff. That's a particularly complicated one. That's probably one for a business, but everybody has their own private little hanko. So like in America, your signature, when you write your name, your signature can be legally binding and people will try to match your signature to official documents to make sure it's you and everything. Here, it's not your signature, it's not what you write, it's your hunko. So when you, when you buy a hunko for your name, uh, it's you know, carved a certain way and they give it to you, like this shop makes hunkos, so they'll give you the hunko. And when you, when you uh, stamp official documents, it has a certain look and it supposedly can't be, uh, copied, you know. It could be forged if someone really cared, but it's anyway, it's supposed to be unique, like little, little, little nuances and little, little imperfections in your particular hanko is what makes it yours. Which of course seems, seems to make it ripe for forgery in my mind, but that's how it works here. Let's get a closer look. I can get across, I can't get across the road right now. 
I actually have a hanko. It's not in kanji, but it, uh, it's in katakana. It's just my last name. Still can't go. Okay, here is the hanko shop. Oh, they make signs too. So that's a hanko shop. I like a good hanko shop. All right. Actually, it's uh, this was pretty, pretty a pretty good idea. It's not that hot out here. It's uh, it's probably ten o'clock in the morning. It's time for me to go home and take my uh, basal shot. But I think this was a good time to come out here. I'm upset about the bubble water. That's that's a scandal. I may I may go to the police with this. I may go to the police. I'll contact all of the. Um, the national uh, television stations and newspapers and stuff. This is big. This is big. This goes. This is deep. This goes deeper than we even know. You saw me. I have video proof. I pressed it twice. Two hundred yen. I have not had the first bubble in my mouth. What the? I'll calm down. I'll calm down. It'll be all right. We'll just have to muddle through somehow. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little trip around some cool neighborhoods. I managed to not get run over yet. And uh, please go to this website for some secret goodies like uh, early views of some of these videos before they're public. And I will see you tomorrow. We'll see what my blood sugars are. I'll go home and work on it today. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.